Hello everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. What are you doing today, Kalen Saez? Today I'm preparing a simple chicken fajitas. And I have already my chicken seasoned since yesterday. I chopped the chicken, like I cut it, and very little pieces, and I season it just to make sure that the season get very deep into the chicken and produce this nice natural smelling they call the attention to those who are desired to eat. And also to make sure that the flavor get deep into this, the chicken and they have less work to do today while you're preparing this chicken. So I wanna make it simple and easy. So let's get started. And right here I have my ingredients. My olive oil, extra virgin from the Signature Select, which is just, it's basically the olive oil that I always use. And also I have my other ingredients that I'm gonna use for the chicken fajita. I have tomato, barcelot, white onion or yellow onion, a little piece of red onion, garlic, and cilantro. So I'm gonna use this, basically, I need an, an main ingredient in, uh, let me see if I find a piece right here on my refrigerator. I have this ingredient that is very important when you are doing chicken fajitas or fajitas in general. It is the pepper. You should put a lot of pepper, but unfortunately, I do not have lots of pepper and I don't want to pass the night without making this chicken fajita. So I have this piece of pepper, the, the green pepper, that's what I'm gonna use for this chicken fajita today. So I'm gonna give it a wash here. And I'm gonna put it back on the container. So, what we're doing here basically is, let me show you actually, my chicken is already seasoned and prepared, like I said, since yesterday, so it smells very good. And I actually chopped the chicken a little bit more than normal because I wanna cook this in less than 10 minutes. So that make it easy. Chop, chop, chop. And that's gonna be something that we basically be able to cook immediately. Now, something important that we're gonna use here is this, the wok. I have the wok. That's why you saw me first with this um, uh, metal head here that I'm using. It's actually the, we bought this wok like three, four years ago. We haven't used it. So it's washed. So we're gonna use it today. And basically let's put this thing here. The fire is on and let's dip a little bit this with some oil here. That should be enough. I'm going to actually do this just to make sure. Be careful when you do this, especially if you have already uh, put the, the wok on the fire. Well, that's the thing when you do the live chop. Whatever you see is what is happening. Okay, I think I feel a little bit better. I think the fire was too high and the heat got into my throat. So that actually caused the, the cough, right? Okay, here it is, the start of the night, which is my chicken. Like I said, you see, you can see pretty. I'm gonna start, I want that, let me see. I want you to see, I'm gonna bring you closer. Let's see, let's put this thing a little bit down. Right here, that should be it. That should be fine, right? So now, let's put this chicken right here. Now what I wanna create is something that you'll be able really to see what is happening here with the chicken. As you see, very, very, very uh, little taste pieces of the chicken, but make the chicken to cook very easy and actually fast. That's gonna be a fast cooking. Why? Because actually the chicken is really well chopped. So. Here it is. 
you're able to see this, right? So we're gonna leave this cooking, and what we're gonna do now is to actually, let me put a little bit more here, and a little bit more, because actually, this is something that you can make pretty easy, you know, and also you can do this also like some, uh, no, it's a main dish, but you can make this actually for, you know, quick, quick, quick for a, if you have some kind of people who jump up at your house just like this, you know, that would be good. It is. It looks like a scrambled egg right now, as you see, right? Uh, appeared to me, it looked to me like a scrambled egg, but it's not a scrambled egg, it's the chicken. And let me tell you the ingredients that I put in this chicken, actually. I have... The main ingredient in this chicken actually is um, garlic, pepper, turmeric, uh, cilantro. Those are the ingredients. I put a little bit of vinaigrette just to let the, you know, because I made the, the I prepared the chicken yesterday, so I want to make sure that sometimes I put any kind of citrus. It could be uh, apple cider vinaigrette, or it could be normal vinaigrette, or also I use lime. So it may, uh, the chicken, you know, get some kind of deep, soft feeling and the taste is actually a little bit different. So uh, another thing that is very important for this uh, chicken fajita are the tortillas. So I have here three types of tortilla, well actually two types. These are uh, corn tortilla, these two as well, that, that's that's too is gonna be for me. I prefer the corn tortillas than the flour tortillas. Now, my husband and uh, my son prefer the flour tortillas. So I have here those big tortillas. You see? And the good thing about tortilla is that they basically come pre-cooked. You just have to warm them or you actually can use exactly as they are. I basically always like to warm them. And that's just what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna warm the tortillas. Actually. I'm gonna warm the tortillas now. While this chicken cook, what we're gonna do is actually chop the rest of the ingredients for the chicken fajita. And those ingredients basically are the tomato, the onion, and the pepper that I already showed you. So that's what we're gonna use right now. Okay? So, everything happened here. So let's use, we're gonna use this frying pan cook the onion and the thing. Let's turn the fire a little bit down for the chicken. And do not worry about it, just leave it there cooking while you're doing this kind of stuff. Look how it looks like right now. I'm telling you, it looks like a scrambled egg. It smells good though, because it has lots of garlic. And actually, um, it's, you know, garlic when you leave them, uh, from one day to the other, to another day, it get very deep into like the, the meat absorb all of the essence and the flavor and smelling of the garlic and that'll be good. Now let's do this because we're gonna need actually, let me turn this fire on here, very down and put this in that direction and let's chop this um, ingredients that we have here. Pepper, tomato and um, actually more garlic. I'm gonna chop the, uh, the onion, not too little because we wanna have the crunchiness and crispiness of the onion, you know. That's actually um, one of the more interesting things that have the chicken fajita. When you start buying into, you wanna feel the sensation that you actually are eating those ingredients chicken, from the chicken fajita, okay? So do not cut them too big, actually. Uh, too little, because you, you want them a little bit big. You want them a little bit bigger than normal. Now, I was looking, what's the difference, basically? I was asking my husband, you know, the, the main difference, I think, chicken fajita and tacos are very similar. Uh, the difference that I think they have is that the tacos, when you are cooking tacos, you, you make basically the main thing it's basically the same. The difference is all of this onion, pepper, uh, cilantro, tomato, 
all of these ingredients actually for tacos, you, you shop them, but you don't cook them. You don't cook them. So, and the chicken fajita is all the, is all the opposite. You use also the main, all the same ingredients, and you have to cook those. You have to cook them because otherwise you're not eating fajitas. Fajita are hot. Uh, taco also are hot, but the, this ingredient, you do not cook them because the flavor is totally different. So, here it is. I'm going to put actually my olive oil here. Not much, because I remember, you know, you already have. So I'm doing this, just so I'm gonna start dumping part of this already on the frying pan when the frying pan get a little bit hot. Okay, because that's what we want. I'm gonna make, do my best because I start feeling the onion in my eyes. Not good. You know, you already hear me cough, you don't wanna see me cry. So, red onion, yellow onion, white onion, you can mix them, okay? You can mix them. And I already have a lot of pepper, so, uh, garlic. I think it's gonna make me cry. I already have to close my eyes. And I'm going to put actually here, this, a little bit, just a little bit of vinegar. And I'm gonna start dumping it. Come with me. Okay, I'm gonna start dumping it here on the frying pan, okay? I'm gonna actually have to make some noise and put my um, um, fun on because it's gonna be hot and gonna make a little bit mess and we don't want that happening. So. that chicken in a moment. I'm gonna uh, turn the fire a little bit high. So now we're going to chop the tomato. Here we go. Let's chop the tomato. Yeah. I have three tomato, four tomato actually because as I'm missing um, you want the tomato a little bit deep like this. And as I'm missing so much, the main, one of the main ingredients is pepper. I think I could turn the plant off again, because I'm not making a mess here, so. Okay. Yeah. You don't want it that be actually, because you know, Remember the chicken fajita, and then if you start eating this, and you feel this tomato so so some, it might not be that pleasant because already I cooked the chicken a lot, like I chopped the chicken a lot. So we don't want this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put more than that. Here is my piece of pepper, the only piece I have. You need to make sure that doesn't happen to you, okay? When you are making chicken fajita, make sure that you have your enough pepper at home. Don't make the same mistake I'm making here, because actually, you need a lot of pepper. But I don't have any, just this. So, let's do this, and now let's go back. Actually, let's chop this, no, I'm gonna do this last, actually. Come with me. Let's do this together, okay? Mm, it's getting color already. And the onions are getting crispy. Crispy! Now let's put pepper and tomato on it. Let me see. It's getting colorful. The color is important in the kitchen, okay? Look. Yay! Okay, let's. Turn this thing a little bit down. 
and with our chicken fajita, our chicken here. Okay, I'm going to start trying to test, because I want to test this. <laughs> Let's test the chicken. Let's see how it looks, how it tastes. Let's see what it needs. Mmm. Actually, to be honest, I don't think any, any of them. I think it's had a perfect flavor. Soft, tender, tasty, nice. We not nice. We don't need much than that. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cook a little bit more of chicken because I don't think that's gonna be enough. You know, I'm gonna eat just two, and um, probably my son and my husband. Mmm. <laughs> Very hot. They probably gonna eat a little bit more. Maybe. Mm, look at this. Onion, pepper. Very nice. Let me see how this thing tastes now. Let's see. Perfect. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of my secret. I like to put a little bit, just a little bit of yellow mustard. Um, you know, it, I like it. Actually, um, um, uh, let's give it some kind of different something. This is ready, so I need to take it out. You see, ready. Mm. So let me turn this off, and I need now to put the frying pan to warm the tortillas. Because so you know, it's a uh, chicken fajita, so you need the tortillas. Mm. Now, I think, you know, I was planning to use um, I was planning to use the, let me actually uh, do this, hold on, because I, I need to cook more chicken, I'm telling you that, I thought it was too much, and I made a mistake, it's the first time I'm trying to be conservative, because I don't like, you know, I'm not enjoying when people, when I cook and I have food, hmm, I still, I can nobody eat, and then we pass a few days with the food and the fridge, and then, you know, pretending like it, oh, something, you know, I like, but I know they're gonna eat this. I'm pretty sure they're gonna eat it. So I have to cook the entire container with the chicken. Mm -hmm. So right now, I need a plate to put this chicken. My tortillas, oh, okay. I'm gonna start warming the tortillas. Two by two. And then, yeah. And then I'm gonna need to <clears throat> cook the, the rest of the chicken. It's gonna take me some time that I wasn't planning. So, I'm gonna put this chicken here. here. I want you to see what I'm doing. So, let's go right here. And let's, you see, that's the chicken. And now I'm gonna have to do the same thing, you know, like, look. Look at the chicken, it looks really nice. Mmm, tastes really good. And it's not very fast to cook. No way. Like I said, you know, because actually, mm, um, you can cook anything very fast. If you do the right, I'm gonna dump this immediately here. So, I thought I wasn't hungry, but now I think I'm gonna eat, you know, because I eat very late today. The day fly by, unbelievable. So, I'm gonna have to dump this fire all over. Gonna make sure that my tortillas doesn't burn. Okay. And it actually, it doesn't matter, you know, you need, you, if that happened to you, don't worry about uh, washing the, the frying pan because of the wall. Because that's what you don't need it. Because you're cooking the same thing, you know, putting nothing new on it. It's the same, exactly the same thing. It's not different me, it's not something so you see. Definitely. Um is the fire on and this thing? Yeah, it's on. So let this thing cook there. And let me actually uh hold on, I'm gonna put this here. Okay. 
Hi there. Yeah, you can do. You can see very well, I guess. Now I'm gonna use my uh, cilantro. You see? Mm, I like cilantro. It's not good. Tastes good. It's healthy. Really good. Cilantro is really good actually when you're eating tacos. Totally crude like this. Also, if you're eating chipile, one of these days I'm gonna make a chipile for you. A chipile, the chipile is a dish, um, Middle East dish that you can actually, you make with um, wheat. Really good, really tasty, really filling actually. You can feed a lot of people. It tastes good. People basically like to uh, eat it when they are drinking, you know, it's uh, like, it's really nice. I got a little bit of Little bit, little bit of uh, my extra burger. And I'm putting things back where they belong. I like to collect things at the same time when I'm doing it because I do not like that sensation that have to start cleaning after I eat. I do not like when I eat, that's it. I just wanna, you know, slow down. So I clean on the process of Cooking, I clean on the process. Yellow mascara. So here are my tortillas. You see? Mmm, that looks nice, right? Let's turn the fire down. Put the tortillas here and put more tortillas on the thing. I'm gonna make this here. We're gonna be using it. <laughs> I basically put the front pan at the table sometimes when it's a family dinner thing, you know, because sometimes, uh, I don't know, it's part of the thing that we do. It's like a tradition thing sometimes, you know, just put it there. It doesn't matter. You can do it very, very. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, the simple thing here is it. So, baby, can you move this a little bit closer? Just, I'm gonna prepare my, oh, and turn this, <laughs> you see? That's the best part. Can you turn this stuff off, please? And give me those tortillas. This one is on, the one that had the tortillas. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna grab this crispy tortilla. Okay. Here. That's my tortillas, actually. You see? Oh, yeah, so, this is how we do this. We put the chicken on it, right? I don't know, can you see it very well? Yes, yes, yes. And a little bit of this, mmm. And now, all you have to do is enjoy this. A little bit in that direction, in the other direction. Here we go, closer. Right there, in the same direction, but just straight to me, like this. Thank you for watching. What are you doing today, calendar size?